The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Flea Market Games Marathon! As I said in Bubble Ghost, the Flea Market game is a sort of game that falls to obscurity until it is eventually rediscovered whilst looking for raw deals at a place like a flea market. However, there's a little bit more to it than that. A flea market game has a certain look and feel to them that's kind of hard to explain. It's like, they're not the sort of game that make you say, Hey, this game reminds me of Super Mario, or Hey, this game reminds me of Double Dragon. I think the best way to describe them is their misfits. Flea market games are misfits. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, because as we saw with Bubble Ghost, flea market games can be pretty enjoyable. But then we have this game. This game is so obscurely despised that at the time of this recording, there are only five videos of it on YouTube. This game is so obscurely despised that none of those videos are a complete playthrough. This game is so obscurely despised that not even James Roth owns a copy of this game. A detail I intend to remedy as soon as I'm done with my own copy. This is Mousetrap Hotel by Milton Bradley. Yes, that Milton Bradley. Which means that, technically speaking, this game is based on Mousetrap the board game. This game is nothing like Mousetrap the board game. Now, while I'm watching these demos, the first thing you kind of notice is, my gosh, that's an ugly character. I mean, if you're going to have us play as a cartoon mouse, at least give us somebody who is worth looking at. That, let's start this game. Just... Give me a chance to talk more about this. I mean, look at this. Look at his walk animation. He walks like he's going to karate chop some bad guys. And there's two problems with that. First off, you don't karate chop anything. Your only means of attack in this game is your tail. And also, there's no bad guys at first. Your first quote-unquote bad guy is an endless stream of bubbles. That's it. If I press select, we come up with a map, which is really handy, shows you where you are in the hotel. The story goes that Maxi, that's the name of this mouse, is trying to get up to the penthouse to see his girlfriend. Along the way, you have to go through every floor and deal with various obstacles, so forth and so on. Meanwhile, we have these cookies here that extend the length of your tail. They extend your length of the tail, which is handy for attacking, and as well as acting as your hit points. The longer your tail, the more hits you can take. Whenever you get hit, your tail gets shorter, and you're getting closer to death. Meanwhile, I just flip this mousetrap so I can grab this piece of cheese, which will give me an extra maxi, or an extra my uh, life, if you will. Alright, gotta climb up this mesh and hopefully not run into things. And one of the things that is really not good about this game is... I mean, besides the fact that we have Bubbles as our first enemy... It's an endless stream of Bubbles. They just don't stop. In fact, as we go on and find different other enemy types... Yeah, there are other enemy types in this game. It's, they're all the same issue. It's an endless stream of them. There's no, like, set spawn point. Oh, here's one enemy at this exact spot. No, it's a spawn point where... Hey, you're in this section of the game, and now a whole bunch of enemies are going to spawn continuously from this one spot. And here's an extra life again. And I got hit, so my tail gets shortened a little. Anyway, I'm now jumping over these washing machines. And I lose a life. Where do I start? At the washing machines. So at least this game has checkpoints. However, what this game does not have is continues. If you get a game over... That's it. Your game is over. You have to start over completely. Now, I have written down a cheat code that gives you 
an extra 8 lives when you start the game, which I guess would be it to 10. Sounds handy. I might have to do that if I get a game over. Hopefully, though, I won't get a game over. By the way, along with everything else, this game controls really awkwardly. I mean, look at how he jumps. Oh, and speaking of jumps, make sure you jump at this pipe, because if you simply drop down, you'll instantly die when you hit the floor. Can I get back over here? No. I saw a cookie. I assume those are cookies. They can't be cheese. They're too round and have chocolate chips on them. And I wouldn't want a chocolate chip... Uh, I wanna, wouldn't want cheese with chocolate chips on it. I suppose a mouse would. Well, at least this game gives you plenty of extra lives at the start of the game. But still, I might have to deal with the cheat code to get extra lives. Hopefully not. Ah, there's another cookie up there. I can't get it yet. Basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to be looping around and then have to go through this part all over again. Yeah, I've already played a little bit into this game. I played through this floor and the fourth floor. You actually have the option of choosing which floors you go to once you finish the first floor. Not that there's any real point because you can go through all the floor. You have to go through all the floors in order to beat the game anyway. Uh, there's a tough cookie. Um, no pun intended. Where is a pun intended? No, I don't think there was a pun intended. Offhand, this is definitely not a good game. I mean, I kind of like it. It's just the controls are awkward, the enemy spawns are annoying, and why is this character so freaking ugly? You think? A game with a cartoon mouse, especially one based on Mousetrap, the board game, would have a cuter character in it. I mean, what's with his butt? Uh, it looks like I don't know what I'm looking at there. I'm not even going to try to attempt to explain what I'm tr might be seeing with that behind. All right, gotta steer myself to this cookie, and there we go. Yeah, steering on those pipes is not very good. I don't know why it's like that, where you have to jump onto the pipe and not simply drop down. Oh, and by the way, you might have noticed that up top there is a meter showing cookies I collected. That is extra cookies. Your tail can only get so long, so once it reaches that certain length, all the extra cookies you collect go up top, so your hit points can actually get go up pretty high. Alright, so we've wrapped around and now suddenly there's like a hole in this mesh so we can't climb back and up and loop around again. Instead, we must continue forth this way. My, it's a good thing my tail has uh, grown to this length because otherwise I would not be able to get these bubbles that are in front of my face. But at least this game has b ducking for... Ah! 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 Hey! What the heck? Well, I'm definitely not going to be able to hit those face bubbles now. Alright, and now we have finished the washroom and immediately get attacked by our next infinitely spawning enemy, ants. I assume those are ants, but now we are in the weight room. By the way, the little person icon actually kind of follows where you're going, so you can actually keep track of how far along in the room you actually are. Kind of handy. And also handy is these ways can kill the bugs. Doesn't give you any points. I wonder if points uh, give you extra lives in this game. Also, these are very choppily animated weights. They're not actually animated. It's basically, the graphic... Okay, this is annoying. Out of my way. Ah, and now we have a new element to this game. And I wish I could actually talk about that new element and not have to deal with infinitely spawning enemies. But that little needle on the floor, that is a trigger. If I step on it, there's gonna be a weight dropping from the... from... that weight is gonna drop. Like... so. It drops slowly, so... no real reason to worry about it. Probably could have just walked through it if I wanted to. As for these weights, if you get trapped under them, it's instant death, so... don't get trapped under them. 
And here's where awkward jumping is going to start becoming an issue. Also, when you jump, you start outrunning the screen, so you actually have to stop to take the time to let the screen catch back up. And this is looking bad. Alright, well, I don't think I have to jump anywhere after this, so I just want to try to do this. Extra life. I wonder how many of these extra lives I'm actually going to need. Jump over the ways to avoid those ants because annoying. Infinitely spawning enemies is a bad idea. Alright, there's no way that I'm going to be able to make it under this. And by the way, if I decide to jump over the needle and I hit my head on that weight, it counts. It counts as the weight landing on my head, instant death. I learned that the hard way. There's actually an interesting trick in order to get through this thing. I could figure out what it is. No, wait, I'm thinking of the next weight. So I have to kind of do that with this one. It's the next weight. This weight right here. No way I can walk under that. And if I try to jump on top of it, well, I hit my head and... Well, instant death, like I was explaining before. But as you saw, the trick to dealing with this weight is to just let the ants run over it. I don't know why the ants couldn't trigger the other weights, but they can trigger this weight. Bottomless pit. I don't know why there's a bottomless pit. What is this switch for? Oh, I guess you have to just touch it so that goes in a pit. Whatever. But it is pretty dumb that even if the weight isn't dropping, if you touch it, it's instant death. The weight is only safe after it's hit the ground. That's dumb. An extra life down here. And by the way, if you get caught in the mousetrap, it's instant death. I'm curious if I can swim in that, or if that's instant death. Let's find out. Yep, it's instant death. Now the good thing is, first off, we get spawned right next to the life. And also, your tail is still long. What happens when you get instant death is your health meter goes down by two. Hopefully I don't regret discovering that because I might need those two hit points I just lost. Alright, let the screen catch back up and moving on. Alright, this is a little bit tricky right here. This is where the awkward jumping becomes awkward because you're jumping from a platform that is moving in tiles and I have often fallen from this thankfully I have not fallen from it that time not that it would really matter a whole lot it basically amounts to great now I have to try again and you also cannot control your jumps very well in midair you can kind of stop yourself, but there's a certain amount of momentum. But now we have reached the end of the first floor. Now, I don't know how exactly you open this elevator. It's like Prince B. Oh, I guess you have to jump in order to get it. But anyway, we have completed the basement. We want to get to, up to the penthouse, but we can't actually get there for whatever reason until we complete these other four floors. Like I said, I've already played through the top floor, or this floor right here. So I already know what that's like, but we're going to go through these in order. Now here comes probably the best part of the game, the elevator minigame. You're supposed to collect these triangles, don't let any of them drop. Your character moves super fast, so if any of them are like off to the side, further, further out, you have the chance of catching up to them. Along with these arrows for points, you also get the occasional piece of cheese dropping down for an extra life as well as extra health. So this is a really good place to rack up some lives and health. Okay, I guess the B was stood for basement. Can I like do that again? No. I'm gonna have to complete this floor in order to figure out or in order to get back in the elevator. And here is pretty much the one thing that has to do with mousetrap the board game. These nets. They look like the nets, the traps that Kill your mouse character in the board game. Along with that, there's a foot, so I guess 
since there's a foot in Mousetrap the board game, that's also something. Apparently when you hit these traps with the tail, it just knocks them a little to the side. I don't know if that makes them, um, so they can't hurt you. Speaking of the traps, apparently they got bear traps in this world. Mouse-sized bear traps. And you can't trigger it to get past it like the other mouse traps, so better not step on it. These are little suitcases. I mean, considering the size of that person who was stomping his foot, these are like suitcases for the pinky. Oh, and if you get stomped on, it's instant death. Who stomps on mice? That's just... Why would you do that? Oh, there it is, instant death. So, best thing to do here is to walk against the leg. That way you can get under it fast enough to not get squished. This last one goes super fast, so it's like, get over there. It's like, you just barely miss it. Or barely get missed. Those look like thumbtacks in the floor, so I probably don't want to step on them. Okay, good news with those things is they only damage you, not instant death like it is in the board game. You got all these holes in the floor. And these pinky-sized suitcases. Who's coming to this hotel? I don't think of it, these are really tall and skinny legs. I can't imagine what the top of the person looks like. Also, as you can tell, once again, we got infinitely spawning things dropping, so it's like, annoying. What is that? Is this guy dropping his razor? Does he have like a bunch of razors? I'm gonna test this thumbtack. Yep, that is in fact damaging. Ugh. Okay, this is... Unfortunate random drop placement thing. And we can't hurt these razor blades. I mean, I've heard of disposable razors, but this is ridiculous. Alright, rubbing against your leg, rubbing against your leg. That's really the only way... Boy, these are falling really fast now. Fa this is annoying. I mean... It's doable, but... Wow. It's a good thing their hitboxes are small. Or maybe Maxi's hitbox is small. Either way, I'm getting kind of lucky. Where does it start me here? In front of the rain of razors. I mean, why? Why razors? I mean, I get that we're a mouse character, but it just seems... Okay, how do I do that? Alright. Rubbing against your leg, and... How do I do that? Do I jump? That's what you have to do. You have to bump your head on the foot, because I think... Oh. And you can't walk in front of those pinky suitcases. Lovely. I'm losing all my lies here. And that doesn't help. The fact that I only have one hit point- Oh! Momentum doesn't help either. I was just trying to jump over that thumbtack and I just kept- You know, I might have to put in that cheat code. And there will not be any shame in that. Whoa, what? What? Oh, come on! This is too unfair! Yeah, I can see why this game is... There's no complete playthroughs of this game on YouTube now. Alright, stay on here. I don't think the razors can get me on the foot. We get back to those slower mouse traps, that's good. Alright. And then slower foot. Give me this. I want this. I need cookies. Alright. 
Now I at least have a hit point. But now we're back to th these razors. Oh, and of course I jumped straight into it. No, 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 no! Okay, at least the checkpoints are f fairly, um, forgivable in this game. But the obstacles, not so much. No! Go, go, go. Get off of there. Alright. I like the nets a lot better than the razors. Why is this suitcase white? Alright. Another cookie. I need it. Alright, this stage is getting a little better. You know, one thing you had to, that I had to do on the fourth floor is... Oh, great. This looks fun. One thing I had to do on the fourth floor in order to leave the fourth floor was go all the way back to the beginning where the elevator was. I do not look forward to doing that here. I'm really hoping there's like a shortcut, shortcut or something, but... At this point, it's looking not very likely. What lies at the end of this hallway anyway? How far are we? Okay, we're almost at the end. We seem to be at the bar or something. Do they call it the bar? No, they call it the lobby still. Alright, so the music changed since we reached the end and now we got infinitely spawning... Uh, infinitely spawning bubbles now. Infinitely spawning bubbles that you can't attack. What makes these bubbles different? Well, the good news is... They put you right next to an extra alive, so... Until I reach the next checkpoint... I'm golden. Give me that. And are the people gonna be gone? Well, at the very least, they, uh... Yeah... This is... What, what am I dealing with right now? I mean, bubbles, but first off, why are these bubbles... You can't attack them, and second... Wh who's... Whoa! I want this. Where are these bubbles, like, coming from? And what is that? Is that, like, a tiny robot? Can you attack it? Better question, can we stand on these? No! So I had to go through all that there. And there goes my, uh, checkpoint with the extra life. So I'm probably going to have to start over fairly soon. And uh, there goes all that. Oh, we can stand on those. Not very easily. Uh. And there it is. So apparently, yeah, when those things flip, game over. Or when those thing things flip, you fall off. But now I have to start over. You know what? Totally gonna input the, that code. The code is... Well, first I'm going to wait for that so I can get to the top screen. Up, down, B, select, right, start. That didn't work. Let's try that again. Up, down, B, select, right, start. Hold on. That is the code. I, I It's worked before. Oh, and I pressed the button wrong. Alright, there it was. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but hey, it also puts my tail at full length. Awesome! Okay, what the heck? How did that work? Or, how did that not work? I don't un completely understand the mechanics of climbing down this pipe. 
come to think of it, who's uh, hanging weights over soapy water? And that is what happens when you miss one. You lose time while the pieces disappear. Most of my cooking meter is at max, so... Um, not sure what that's going to do for me. Alright, I just found out. Apparently, that meter is not the cap. It keeps track of cookies you collected beyond the cap. Is there an actual cap? I don't know, I'm a little curious. Somebody needs to do like a tool-assisted speedrun of this game. But I don't think anybody's going to want to do that, considering there's no complete playthroughs. On the plus side, that means that I'll have a monopoly on complete playthroughs of this game. Not that that's necessarily a good thing. Alright, so, dealing with this again. Screw it! I'm just getting through. And screw that cookie. So they're like little tiny robots that take two hits to deal with. I want this. That's the easy one. Nice to know that the razors and foot stomping is gone, but these fizz dispenser things are... Why? Thank goodness for ducking. Mega Man should take lessons. Uh, I regret everything. I regret... Ah! Uh, duh! Die, die. You know, at first this game didn't seem that bad. Not very good, but not very bad. But you know what? I changed my mind. This game's bad. It's no wonder nobody is able, able to finish it. Why can't I hurt these? Okay, really? Oh, I see what's going on there. I mean, it's like they have elements for a good game, because look at this. Okay, how do I stand on top? How do I... Do I have to do a running jump? Yep. Ah, that's gonna help. Needed those. And also, in the fourth floor, the top floor that you can access for the time being, level design was kind of painful there, but still interesting. So it's like, what the heck? They, it seems like they know what they're doing, but at the same time, they don't. Well, at least I got 21 lives. Running out of cookies, so Oops. Hold on. Let me time this a bit better. I'll just walk under these. Who took the time to remodel this place? Oh, that was a waste. Ah. And you know what another problem is? You have no invincibility frames when you take damage. So, if you get trapped like that, you're taking damage fast. Oh, hey, we're back at the entrance. Give me this cookie. No! I'm so going to be glad to get on this. You know what else I notice? When you get into a mousetrap like that, your character gets mangled. But as it turns out, everything mangles your character. It's unfortunate. It's also unfortunate that I'm losing all these lives at the very end of this level. Give me that. No! Alright, this is a tricky timing. All right, there we go. <sighs> Glad that's over with. Back in the elevator we go. Let's get some more lives and stuff. Because I need them. Like I said, this right here is the best part of the game because your character controls fast and it's not very difficult. Makes you really look forward.